We got a chance to speak to Reed Scott and Ella Rubin, two of the stars of the brand new prime video rom-com, The Idea of You. This is an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. Uh, I, I wanted to start off with a big one. Um, I love my rom-coms. And for the longest time, I've been trying and failing to write something about why some work and some don't. Like what makes a Sleepless in Seattle and When Harry Met Sally so magical, but then let's just say rumor has it not so magical. Yeah. Um, and it's been tough, right? Because there is this ineffable quality to the great ones. And I was wondering if the both of you had some idea or at least a theory as to why some work and some don't. Sorry, I forgot to preface this by saying that your movie is great and I really enjoyed it. Thanks. Um, first of all, I want to read whatever you end up writing about that because I'm so fascinated by that too. Seriously, like what in, what um, intangible thing makes right? something magic? Like it's so... That's why, like, I have such a respect for Michael and what he does because it's like, feels like obviously it's not this at all, but it feels like he just waves a magic wand and it's this like indescribable quality. But I don't know. I think like I wasn't the one experiencing it in this film, obviously, because um, I'm playing Annie's daughter. But I think you know they have such incredible chemistry, and I don't, I don't know how it works. I've never done a romance film, but I imagine that that's something that you have or you don't with people. And of course there's ability to build on anything, but I think that they're, they're so magnetic together and separately on screen. And I think it just, you just want to watch them and you want to root for them. And I'm not sure what that quality is, but I'm so fascinated by that. Yeah. Well, Ella, that's not been helpful at all to me in my article, but thank you very much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll email you. I will think of something better. Reed might have something better to say about Reed, this. what do you say? I'm sorry. Yeah, also, That's also, a... it's just very clear that from all of his work, Michael truly loves rom-coms. I mean, it's yeah. just very clear from his previous movies as well. But Reed, w w what do you say? I think it's really interesting that you point that out. And I, I, I agree. Um, you mentioned Sleepless in Seattle, which I, was one of my favorite films. And, you know, I think we have this sort of collective memory of Sleepless in Seattle being you know, quote unquote, a rom-com, but there right. are a lot of moments of just real drama. It's got its laugh out loud, you know, funny bits, but at, at its, at its essence, it's authentic. You know, it, it, it's really exploring this, this connection that these people have, the challenges they have to see it through. And it's got a lot of heart, but also that movie you know, Nora Ephron is just a genius writer. Genius, yeah. So she allows the <laughs> audience to to go on that journey with the characters rather than telling the audience, this is funny, this is cute, this is sexy. She just offered it up. And I think you're to. absolutely right with regards to authenticity as well, which is what I enjoyed most about your movie in that it wasn't about Anne Hathaway's character trying to recapture some glory years or even doing an eat, pray, love thing. It just was her being her. And I thought that felt authentic and real and breezy, which I really enjoyed. Um, yeah. Ella, I was wondering if you could talk about why aging up your character was a great decision, because I thought it was brilliant and very smart. Yeah. That relationship suddenly <laughs> became something different. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean... It's easy for me to say because I got, got to do the movie because they itched it up. Um, but I, I think it was also I also really um, appreciated that choice in, in the sense of, uh, you know, when you're their relationship is so intimate, uh, Izzy and Solan. It's it's so loving. It's so open. It's so like deep and true and real in the way friends have a relationship. But without that kind of um, but also she's her mother and there is that boundary there as well. And I think because they're so close, aging her up a little bit lends itself to that because there's a certain way you're able to talk to your parents when you're a kid, you know, 13, <laughs> even though 16 and 13 are only three years apart. It's like when you're a teenager, that's like a world of a difference. That's like, right. you you feel like a completely, a completely different human being by the time you're 16. And so I think she had this ability to kind of get on her levels, understand the romance a little bit more, understand what her mother was going through, the relationship, how to talk to her about it, 
um, <clears throat> there was an inability to express, to communicate, um, because it wasn't at all, you know, someone talking to a little kid, it was someone talking to a teenager. And there was this, yeah, just a more, um, a greater sense of ease in Izzy, this is what's going on. And me being able to kind yeah. of, she's so understanding and she's so, has so much compassion for the situation that I think, um, that I think a 16 year old would maybe be able to logically arrive at more, more easily. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Reed, you had a hard job because it's easy to play the, it's easy to play the asshole, but you did it in that. I think your character came off as someone who'd made mistakes, but still means well. Mm. Was that what you were going for? Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's really important in, in delivering, you know, these kind of characters, which look, Hey, if, if I'm making a career out of playing the privileged white prick, you know, <laughs> so be it. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Um, Take one for the team. Yeah, this is, this is, <laughs> this is the age that we're living in. Um, and, uh, but I, I really, I, I relish those opportunities because, you know, no character is one dimensional. No one is just all good, all bad. You know, um, I, I, I've said this before that, that the, the key to this character in this context, because it's, you know, the, it, it, it's a family story, it's a romance, all this kind of, you know, these different nuances to it is that you have to see that he had some value or that there's right. something about Daniel that would... You need to believe that you know, she fell in love with him in the first place. Yeah, that he could entice someone like Solène. You know, like if, if, if he's so horrible that you just like cringe when you see the guy, you lose respect for her. Because it's sort of like, oh my God, like what, what did you see in him? Now all of your, you know, judgment comes into question. But if you see sort of like, no, I, I guess I could see how she could fall for him in a, in a different time in a different place. Um, you respect her more. Um, yeah. And if she was just married to an asshole, you know, at, yeah. at some point. So it, it really is about finding that sort of delicate balance. And that's what Michael Showalter does so well is he, 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 he finds those, you know, those little ingredients to the character to sort of highlight that, that someone else might pass over completely, but he, he's very intent on keeping it human, keeping it authentic. You know, these characters, once they edge into caricature land, I think the audience just checks out. But yeah. if you're if you're really invested in these characters because you see how human and how how real they are, you know, then then you're in for the ride. Guys, I think I'm all out of time. I've got like 20 seconds left, but uh, this has been an absolute pleasure. The movie was an unexpected surprise to me. And I'm always looking out for a great rom-com. Also, uh, Reed, I, I don't think you get this enough, but... Great Commissioner Gordon, by the way, on the oh. Batman animated thing. Uh, <laughs> and I you. hope you come back and do more of those. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much, Uma. Have a good one. <laughs> thank you. The idea of you is now streaming on Prime Video. Check it out and let us know what you think. Sound off in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. 